And what is the enemy of those elements? The enemy is any debris coming in here and water. And water. It damaged because uh, this element is... It's going to start corroding. Oh, it's And it won't corroded. seal properly. It's an special stainless steel, right? No? Yeah, it's a, it's a stainless steel specifically made for that. That it actually opens and closes without breaking. And it's supposed that sit properly on the plastic, no? Correct, just like that side. Perfect. All right, nice. And it's possible to replace only the flaps? Yes, you can. You order the kit and you replace that? Yes. Now, if you wanted to check if you had bad revalves and you wanted to take it out, what you would do is you would put this in the light. Uh-huh. And you would look, if you see any light, the revalve's bad. Ah. See, there's no light right now, right? Perfect, no light. And then the other one? In this one. What about this one? You would see, you would see that, you would see if this flap was open just like slightly, you would see air, you know the revalves are bad. Perfect. Danny, in other words, I have, I have one for each cylinder. Correct. Correct. And uh, if I have low compression in one particular cylinder, this is, this is, the possibility. It could be one of the possibilities. Ah, yes. one of the possibilities. Yes. The other one could be on the head or the head, the rings, the, yeah, piston. pistons. Okay, but this is one of the possibilities. Yes. All right. The enemy is the water. Water is absolutely in any debris. Like if there's a catastrophic failure, usually metal will come out. It'll damage revalve. Anytime you have a catastrophic failure in a, in a cylinder, you have to replace the revalves. We don't even rebuild them. We just replace it with a brand new. All right.